So I'm going to first start off with makeup and I'm going to prime my skin with the Benefit Porefessional just to ensure that my makeup lasts all throughout the shoot. Then to prime my eyes I'm using the Paint Bot by MAC in Soft Ochre and applying that all over my lids. For foundation I mix two of my favorites, one from Hourglass and one from Estee Lauder and I'm smearing that all over my face. Now to brighten the under eye circles, Maybelline Age Rewind, and this is a new shade, well for me at least. It's the brightening one, and I kinda love it, like a lot. I feel very awake and less vampire-y. Now for the eyeshadows, I'm using the Naked Palette by Urban Decay, and first we are taking the shade Naked, and I'm buffing that all up in and around, well just really in my crease. And then I'm using Virgin to highlight underneath my brow bone to, you know, highlight, that's what it does. Now going into buck, I'm going to apply that deeper into my crease to darken the look, and then I'm taking a blending brush and blending all of that out so there are no harsh lines. Now taking a liquid liner, I'm just going to apply winged liner to my eyes, and I'm going to set my face with an HD Studio Finish Powder by NYX, and this is a translucent powder. And now into my favorite bronzer, Suntan by Jouer, bronzing up my face, and then using a Tarte Bronzy Pink Blush on the apples of my cheeks. And then for the brows, I'm using Browsing by Benefit just to fill them in and give them a little more shape. Now going back into Naked, I'm taking that on a pencil brush, smudging that on my lower lash line, then taking Virgin again and applying a different pencil brush and brightening my inner corner. Now on to mascara, which I can't do on camera, so I didn't even attempt. And finishing it off with a light baby pink lipstick from Maybelline. Ba ba ba! And look, your makeup's done! Please don't find another love when I'm away. Now I see breaking up. Now it's time to tackle that mess of a mop of what I call hair. I'm going in with the Paul Mitchell heat protectant and I'm spraying that all over my hair and brushing it through, you know, sped up because that takes forever. And I'm sectioning my hair off, depends on how many sections of hair you need, how thick your hair is. And I'm taking a one inch curling iron, it might be 1.25, and I'm curling sections both towards and away from my face to create a loose wave holding for about five to seven seconds. And that's what I'm doing on both sides of my hair and stop! Ah, look, it's done. Then I love going in with the Moroccan oil to give it a much more natural look and I spread that throughout my hair and it makes it look super soft and really fluffy. Then I'm going and giving myself a side part, you know, just for fun and taking my favorite hairspray which does not taste good as nice as it smells and I am adding that to my roots for a little bit of lift and then the hair is done. Now for days that I'm shooting, I like to keep it super cash and comfortable and this is my favorite plaid from H&M and now it's time to go. So come along with me to the set. Fun fact, hide my cell phone down here, and I have a Starbucks hidden down here. So I'm on set right now. So it's like 6.40. I'm still filming, and we've got, this is the last episode, very last. Is everyone ready? Go team, go. Now, time to change back into not a fancy little summery dress when it's pouring rain outside. And 
who needs to wash their car when there's rain?